to see what the mask sees. No, she doesn't. Don't look through it. Where are we? What is this? It's the same. Different. It's another world. It's lighter. It's nicer. The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world, fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. He loves you. Thank you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. We're nearly here. Open the gate. She can't. Open the gate. It's locked. Try harder. She will. seems so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senu explored new paths into the unknown. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, 
Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. She was caught between two worlds, that of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. 
All the gods are weeping, he said. Are they? asks Helen. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giant ass they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> 